Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to talk about HCF or highest common factor. So, HCF or highest common factor of two or more numbers as the greatest factor that divides the given number exactly without leaving any remainder. How to find HCF? So, there are three methods. One is the simple method second as a prime factorization method and the third as the division method a simple method this as a very shortcut and simple method and then you can use to find out the hcf of any number within few seconds so first of all you have to find out the pictures of the numbers that you want to find out the hcf of these numbers two Find the common factors. 3. Look for the highest common factor, which will be the HCF. For example, find HCF of 16 and 18. So it is very easy to find HCF of 16 and 18 within a few seconds. First of all, we have to find out the pictures of 16. So the pictures of 16 are 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. The pictures of 18 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. Now we are going to find out the common factors. So the common factors of 16 and 18 are 1 and 2. And there is no set other number which is a common factor of 16 and 18 simultaneously, right? So the common factors of 16 and 18 are 1 and 2. Now we are going to look for the highest common factor. So the highest common factor of 16 and 18 has 2, right? Because uh, 2 is greater than 1, right? So the highest common factor or HCF of 16 and 18 as 2, right? Example number 2. Find the HCF of 20 and 30. But first of all, we are going to find out the pictures of 20. So the pictures of 20 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. Then the pictures of 30 are 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, and 30. Now we are going to looking for the common factors. So the common factors of 20 and 30 are 1, 2, 5, and 10. Because 1, 2, 5, and 10 are both common factors of uh, 20 and 30. Uh, now we are going to look for the highest common factor. Because uh, 10 as the highest common factor and 1, 2, 5, and 10 are the common factor. But 10 as the highest common factor. Right, so the HF or highest common factor of 20 and 30 is 10. So here we will pause the video and find out the HF of 16 and 20 and comment the answer in the comment box. The second method is the prime factorization method. So according to the prime factorization method, first of all, we have to do the prime factorization of the number for which we have to find out the HF. Then we have to find out the common prime vectors, right? We have to multiply the common vectors of these numbers, right? So, for example, find the HCF using prime factorization method of 30, 90, and 60. So, all we have to do the prime factorization of these numbers, 30, 90, and 60. So, we do the prime factorization of 30. So, 2 times 15 is 30, 3 times 5 is 15, and 5 times 1 is 5. We are going to divide the number just like 30 by the lowest prime factor, right? So first of all, we have to divide the number by lowest prime factors and 30 as not divisible by 2. Then we have to look for another least prime number, right? Just like we are dividing 30 by 2, which is equal to 15, and divide 15 by 3, which is equal to 5. 5 divided by 5, which is equal to 1. And now we are going to do the prime factorization of 60. So 2 times 30 as 60 and 2 times 15 as 30. Now there is no set prime number just like 2 to divide 15. So we will take 3 as divisor. So 3 times 5 as 15 and 5 times 1 as 5, right? Now we are doing the prime factorization of 90. So 2 times 45 as 90, 3 times 15 as 45 and 5 times 3 as 15, 3 times 1 as 3. Right now, the prime factors of 30 are uh, 2, 3, and 5, and the prime factors of uh, 60 are 2, 2, 3, and 5. The prime factors of 90 are 2, 3, 3, 5. Right now, we are going to looking for the common factors of these numbers. So, the common factors of 
30, 60, and 90 are 2, 3, and 5. So the common prime factors are 2, 3, and 5. Now we are going to multiply these numbers to get the highest common factor or SCF. So SCF of uh, 30, 60, and 90 is equal to 2 times 3 times 5, what is equal to 30. So the SCF of 30, 60, and 90 is equal to 30, right? We are going to solve an example. And what we have to find the SCF of 224 and 142, right? So again, we will use the same prime factorization method and apply the same method. All right, so <clears throat> we will do the prime factorization of 224 and 142. Right, 2 times 112 is equal to 224. 2 times 56 is equal to 112. 2 times 28 is equal to 56. 2 times 19 is equal to 28. And 19 times 1 is 19, right? Because 19 cannot be divided by any other prime factor. So we will take uh, the device that 19 is right <clears throat> now we are gonna do the prime factorization of 142 so 2 times 71 is 142 and 71 times 1 is 71 right because there is no such prime factor that divides 71 now the prime factorization of 224 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 19 and a prime factorization of 142 is equal to 2 times 71 right so we are going to look for uh, common factors that are the factors of 224 and 142 so there is one number that is common in both of these factors which is 2 right this 2 is common in both of these numbers so the SF of you know, 224 and 142 2 as 2 and 2 as the greatest factor or the greatest number that divides 224 and 142 simultaneously right and there is no such other number greater than 2 to divide these 224 and 142 at the same time we're gonna find out the SCF of three numbers as already we have find the SCF of two numbers right so now we are gonna find out the SCF of three numbers and you can find the SCF of many numbers as you want right so here we will find out the SCF of 160 120 and 180 so we will do the prime factorization of 160 120 and 180 so first of all we will do the prime factorization of 160 so 2 times 80 as 160 2 times 40 as 180 and 2 times 20 as 40 2 times 10 as 20 2 times 5 as 10 and 5 times 1 as 5 now the prime factorization of 120 as 2 times 60 as 100 and 2 times 30 as 60 2 times 15 as 30 3 times 5 as 15 5 times 1 as 5 2 times 90 as 180 2 times 45 as 90 3 times 15 as 45 3 times 5 as 15 and 5 times 1 as 5 right we did the prime factorization of these numbers so the prime factors of 160 are 2 2 2 2 2 and 5 prime factors of 120 is equal to 2 2 2 3 and 5 the prime factors of 180 is equal to 2 2 3 3 and 5 right now we are gonna find out the common factors of 160 120 and 180 so the first two we see as common in the three of these numbers the second two is also common in these number and five is a number that is that is common in uh, these numbers right now the common factors of 160 120 and 180 is equal to 2 2 and 5 right now to find out the SCF of uh, these numbers we have to multiply these common factors right so the SCF will be equal to 2 times 2 times 5 what is equal to 20 right so the SCF of 160 120 and 180 is equal to 20 right and so there is no other greater number than 20 that divide 160 120 and 180 at the same time so the ACF of 160, 120, and 180 is equal to 20, right? So here we will pause the video and find the ACF of 100, 200, and 300 and comment the answer in the comment box, right?